G'day, Starlo here. This is pretty exciting because Joe and I are in the process of upgrading our Lowrance sounders. We've had great service from the Generation 3 HDS touchscreen units that we've used for the last few years, but we're about to upgrade to these fantastic new HDS Live units. But before I do that, I need to get all the waypoints and other data off my old units so that I can transfer them to the new ones and at the same time back them up on the computer. It's a really good thing that you should do, well, at least once or twice each year. All you need to do it is one of these little SD cards. Make sure that there's enough storage on it. Just open the card slot door. Put the card into one of the card slots. Make sure it goes all the way in and clicks in. Close the door and then we just power up the unit. Okay, with the unit powered up, we press the Pages button, come over here to the left of the screen, scroll down until we get to Files, and here we go. We've got a memory card in the right-hand slot, and we've got our files here, including Waypoints, Routes, Trails, and Trip Database. That's the one I'm going to press. And then what I want to do is export those files. and I want them to go into the memory card right, which is what it's saying, so I hit OK. It's going to ask me what I want to name the files. It's called Waypoints, Routes and Trails at the moment, so that'll do fine. Hit Enter, and it's already happening. You can see the little hourglass there, and it's done. 442 waypoints downloaded onto that card. I'm now going to power down. remove the card, I'll save those waypoints to my computer and also to a backup portable hard drive that I've got and then it's quite easy to load those waypoints onto the new unit. All I have to do is power the new unit up, put the card in and import those waypoints into the new unit. It's a very very simple process. Okay so I've got my waypoints off this unit, I'm ready to put them onto the new one. But I'm going to sell this unit and I don't necessarily want to give all my waypoints to the next person who buys it. So there's a couple of ways of getting rid of them. You can do a hard reset of the unit that completely clears it. But look, it's just as simple to go back in and manually delete the files off the unit and then purge them. Let me show you how. So what I do is, over on the left here again, go down to files, go to our waypoints and down the bottom here we've got delete all. I press delete all. <laughs> it asks me if I'm absolutely sure I want to get rid of them. I say yes. Now they've gone into deleted waypoints. They're still in the unit and they can still be recovered. What you now need to do is purge them. Now uh, there's no coming back from this step. So, once again, it gives you another chance to back out. Yes, I want to purge them. Gone. I no longer have any waypoints in this unit, and I can tell that by going to the chart. They've all vanished. Nothing there. But what I can do is reinstall them because I've still got that card in there. Go to Files again, Memory Card Right. There they are. Import. Are you sure you want to import them? Yes. And there it's importing those waypoints and other data back onto the unit. Doesn't take very long. 442 waypoints and one trail have been imported. Close. I can quickly go to charts. And there we go. All my waypoints are back. It's a really good trick to know. It's quite simple to do, but a lot of people seem to struggle with it. Make sure you back up your waypoints a couple of times a year and know how to transfer them from one unit to another and how to remove them from a unit before you on sell it to someone else. Until next time, this is Starlo wishing you tight lines.